Information shared on the following program is for general information purposes only. It does not constitute legal, tax, investment, or other advice, nor is it intended to recommend any particular investments, products, or financial instruments. Always seek advice from your financial advisor, attorney, or accountant with regard to investment, legal, or tax questions. Don't let the new year get you down. My top tips for 2020 are on the way. Welcome to the only show in the country dedicated to helping savers worry less about money. The Worry-Free Retirement. Your host, nationally recognized retirement specialist, five-time author and fiduciary, Tony Walker. I don't know about you, but I've never really been into the whole New Year's party scene. In fact, one of my favorite movies is Forrest Gump. Look at this scene here. And in fact, the funny part of this is, is I kind of feel like Lieutenant Dan every time I'm at one of these things. I don't really get it. Sure, it's always nice to look back over the past year and think about things that we have all tried to accomplish, but sometimes it can be downright depressing to think about all this stuff. In fact, what I've witnessed over the years is people with very good intentions sometimes setting themselves up for another year of failure. Why? Because most people are really not trained in how to set goals and secondly, are not trained in how to make sure these goals are realistic in terms of what you're trying to accomplish. Now, assuming you watch this show with any frequency, you know that the last thing I'm gonna to try to do is predict the future and to set yourself up for more financial failure. Still, as a retirement planning specialist and someone who is trained in the art of setting up goals and executing plans to try to help you meet those goals, today, I thought it would be kind of cool to take a look at the year 2020 and provide you some of my main tips for how to financially prepare for a more successful year. I call it Tony's Top Financial Tips for 2020. Well, welcome folks to the Worry Free Retirement. I am that little man in the sweater vest, retirement planning specialist, 401k rollover aficionado and fiduciary Tony Walker. And today, as we begin to look at the new year, 2020, if you can believe that, I thought it would be good to arm ourselves with some basic things to focus on to help us worry less about our money. These tips are things that I've learned in my 35 years and that will keep you focused on your money and at the same time, allow you to feel more confident in the things you can do with it without the fear of running out of it. So before I share my top tips for 2020, let's begin with the difference between a resolution and a goal. Now, years ago, I was fortunate enough to be able to travel to San Diego and study under a gentleman by the name of Brian Tracy. He's a well-known author of several books on goals, and he offered a program back then called Focal Point. And man, did I learn a lot about setting goals. Now, the one thing I learned is that in order to set goals, you first need to be resolved to a bigger vision than the goal. For instance, I have on my website at TonyWalkerFinancial.com, which you're welcome to go there and check that out, something called my 10 resolutions. Now these resolutions allow me to define who I am and what it is as my mission in life, and that's, that allows me to set up more realistic goals. The goal setting has become so much easier when I decided to come up with the resolution. Still, in order to set effective goals and to more importantly accomplish them, Mr. Tracy reminds us that any goal must have four major attributes. Let's take a look at these. First of all, the goal must be in writing. I don't know what it is. There is something about putting in writing a goal. In fact, I've got right here, I keep this with my Bible of all things, this is a bunch of chicken scratch. But you know what I did at the first of 2019? I wrote down these goals. And among many of these goals, most of these I've accomplished. I'll name you a few. Here's a couple. I wanted to create some software for Roth conversions. We did that. I wanted to update our website. We did that. I wanted to enlist a new CRM. That's a database management system. We did that. I wanted to hire a new staff for the Bowling Green and Louisville offices. We did that. And here's something that'll be out in the spring of 2020. I wanted to write and complete my sixth book 
in 2019 and I just got it back from the editor. It's completed. So again, this little chicken scratch written down stuff is powerful stuff. Now, it doesn't have to be fancy, but it has to be written down. Number two, a goal must be reasonable. Let me give you an example. Let's say you make $50,000 a year and your goal in 2020 is to save more money. That's a reasonable goal. Well, to say that you're going to save $30,000 in 2020 would be totally unreasonable since you only make 50. You're setting yourself up for failure. So what might be more reasonable is to say that you're going to set up a goal of saving $500 a month. That would be an example of a reasonable goal. Third, the goal must be on a reasonable timeline. In retirement planning, a lot of what I'm very, very good at, people come into me and they're nearing retirement, for instance, and they say, I want to retire at X date. And I say, fine, let me look at everything. We'll set up a game plan. Well, if they say, well, I want to retire next year, let's say, and we look at the timeline and look at their monitor your progress, and we realize that all they've got is $50,000 in a 401k, and they're wanting to retire next year, I might say, you know, slow down a little bit. This timeline may not be reasonable. Oh, by the way, speaking of reasonable, the reason I love annuities so much is due to the fact that only an annuity, listen closely, only an annuity can guarantee you that you won't run out of money in retirement. So let's say based on this timeline theory, if your goal is to not run out of money, since we don't know when we're going to die, right? We don't know how long we're going to live. We don't know when we're going to die. And let's say you got all your money tied up in the stock market. Well, good luck with that. So the, all, the market is at all time highs, at least when we're recording this show. By the way, yeah, we probably ought to preface this. We're recording the show on December 10th, 2019. So my suggestion right now is to take a good look at your 401k. If it's grown a lot, maybe it's time to take some winnings off the table and get some of that money guaranteed so that you can accomplish your timeline of not running out of money. All right, and finally, here's the key with goals. You've got to share your goals with somebody that you're accountable to. You know, this list of goals here, we meet every Monday morning in our marketing meeting in Louisville. Then on Wednesdays, we always meet with the full staff and I write down and share everything going on, not only for the day, for the week, and for the year. Why do I do that? Because I want to be held accountable. I want the staff to be held accountable, and ultimately because we are accountable to our clients. That's the main goal here. So this is really our role at Tony Walker Financial, to help clients and prospective clients get organized. And because of our proprietary software, which is really a written game plan of your future, we can quickly assess whether the things you want to do are reasonable. That's the main role of a retirement planning specialist. They've got to provide you a written game plan. So when I return, I'm going to review the top tips for 2020. So get a piece of paper handy because you may want to take notes as you think through what you'd like to accomplish in the coming year. I'm Tony Walker. You're watching The Worry-Free Retirement. I'll be right back. Have you recently retired, been laid off, or offered a pension buyout? Has the company you work for moved, been acquired, or closed its doors forever? And finally, do you have a 401k with a previous employer you'd like to move to safer territory? Then take advantage of this opportunity to move your 401k or lump sum pension to Tony Walker Financial. Let's meet in person to discuss your retirement options. Log on now to TonyWalkerFinancial.com to schedule your free, no obligation appointment. Let us help you today. Welcome back to the Worry-Free Retirement. And our first tip uh, for 2020 is to know thyself and to understand the stage of life that you're in. And basically, we call this the three halves of life. One must be sure to invest their money in such a way as to prepare for each phase of life. For instance, the first half of life is where you should be trying to save as much as possible. Keeping bad debt to a minimum, do your best to ensure that your income is protected, with the proper amount of life insurance and disability insurance. And then we move over to halftime. That's the stage I'm at right now, roughly between 55 and age 70. This is where you need to have your money positioned as such, where you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. You should not be maxing out your 401k at this point, but only putting in up to the company match. 
You may even want to roll that 401k now over to somebody like us. Even if you're not retired, there's many advantages of doing so. By doing so, this is allows us to put this game plan together so that we can have a plan of attack for that infamous tax tumor we're talking about, and more importantly, so that we can figure out how best to start using and enjoying this money while you still can. And then finally, we move into what we call the second half, and that's the point of time, usually at the age of 70 or so. Now, this is the age where I would say you need to relax. So again, the first half, you're saving, half time, you're using and enjoying your money, and now we're into the second half of life, folks. This is where you need to relax. The second half, and this is something we can help with, this is where, where you need to get your estate planning in order. This is where we need to make sure that you're saving money for the kids or grandkids or gifting money now so that the nursing homes won't take it away later. By the way, our friendly staff of service experts can assist you with the current limits of how much you can put into your IRA or 401k, and assuming you're in the second half of life or over this magical age of 70 and a half, this is called the required minimum distribution, can help you think through where to pull that money out from and which account. We have a lot of tools for that. In fact, the next two episodes coming up to the Worry Free Retirement, we're gonna to dedicate to this whole notion of how to maximize your minimum distributions from your 401k or IRA. All right, let's move to tip number two, and that's having a written game plan. You know, last night I had a workshop in Louisville, Kentucky. We had over 60 people in attendance at this retirement planning workshop. And I asked how many people had a written game plan. And you know what? Only a couple people showed their hands. Folks, how in the world are you gonna keep track of how you're doing now and in the future if nothing's written down? This makes no sense. And worst of all, many of you are racing out to these dinner seminars, and after a 30-minute pitch, I hear this all the time, then you blindly roll your money over to somebody that's a complete stranger and provides no written game plan. Folks, listen closely. An annuity is not a written game plan. A brokerage account is not a written game plan. A 401k is not a written game plan. A bunch of money stockpiled in the bank is not a written game plan. These are just investments. How you use those investments, how you manage the fees and the taxes on those investments can only be accomplished with a well-trained retirement planning specialist. That's what we do at Tony Walker Financial. We're not money managers, we're not wealth managers. We're trying to help you use and enjoy your money without the fear of running out. So if you're retired or maybe retiring soon, a money manager is not going to provide you a written game plan. Again, a financial statement or an investment statement is not a written game plan. We will. We'll provide you this at no cost. So why not take advantage of seeing our proprietary game plan and how we can tailor this game plan to meet your specific goals? Incidentally, we have a lot of tools on our site and ways we can assist you with our planning. You can log on to Tony Walker Financial and in the space bar there on the home page, simply type in downloads. On the downloads page, you can download what we call our last day planner. Boy, this is a great organizational tool so that when you die, people can find out where all your information is and where your stuff's located. As well, you can download our estate planning intake form. We, we are happy to provide this service at very little cost to you. It's a way to get your estate planning updated very quickly. Again, this is called Estate Planning Navigator. So take advantage of our free downloads. Again, log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Don't put it off. We're in a brand new year. Let us help you get organized with a written game plan. All right, when I return, I'm going to cover a few more of my tips for 2020. You stay tuned. Make sure you have that pencil and paper handy. You're going to want to write this down. I'll be right back. Who can you trust? It's one of the most important decisions you'll have to make. Question is, are you ready? Well, we're here to help at Tony Walker Financial. You know, we care more about you than we do your money, and we have over 2,000 happy clients and an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau to prove it. Rolling over a 401k, confused about Social Security, maybe you're afraid of running out of money. Learn how to use and enjoy and protect your hard-earned money. Log on now to TonyWalkerFinancial.com and let's get started. 
Welcome back to the Worry-Free Retirement. We continue with Tony's tips for 2020, and that has to be costs. Folks, there's four huge costs of money that are a drain to your wealth, and you got to get a handle on these costs. Basically, let's start with the first one. Boy, that's a biggie. Taxes. In fact, you don't think taxes can bring tears to your eyes? Just watch what happens when this 10-year-old kid learns about taxes. Uh, What's been, where's all your money gone, Daddy? Taxes. Nine, 10, 11. <laughs> Let me fix my houses. Bug, it's okay. It's part of the game. No, it's not. It it's is. Not fun to... It's not fun to what? <laughs> it's the worst part of the game. Oh, it's what? So what's the point? The point is we are at some of the lowest tax rates in history, and many of you are not taking advantage of this. This is where we can help you get a handle on the tax tumor buried within your 401k plan and other tax planning strategies. Cost number two, fees. Folks, we talk all the time about fees, but we have through our Charles Schwab platform, which has now grown to over $80 million under management, the fees on that are only eight-tenths of 1% compared to most money managers charging twice that amount. So less fees means more money in your pocket. Cost number three, insurance premiums. Many of you have policies in force, life insurance, long-term care. We can help you analyze those. In fact, my favorite son-in-law, Trey, is in charge of our life insurance and long-term care department. Policies have changed a lot over the years. There's a good possibility we can save you money in premiums. And finally, those darn interest payments many of you are encountering. There is a difference between good debt. Good debt is defined as anything that you're using and borrowing money from somebody, but you get to enjoy the asset, now, let's say a home, you know, granted, you might be paying interest on home debt, but it sure is nice to live in that home versus depreciable assets where you're paying interest, which is what I call bad debt. So we need to learn to avoid bad debt. Now, tip number four is actually one of my favorite. And to go through that, I want to go over to the whiteboard. And this is cash is always king. I didn't say cash is king. It's always king. Now, I used to study under a gentleman named Bob Castellone. He was the founder of what's called LEAP, LEAP Systems. And he used these quadrants to explain things. And I'm going to use this now. So let's think of money. If we had all this money divided up into nine blocks of money, anything up here in this quadrant, okay, would be we would call cash. Why did I put that here? Because it's the most liquid and it's the safest. So if you have a $100 bill in your pocket, that is cash, cold, hard, tax-free cash. We know it's liquid and we know it's there. We come all the way down maybe to here, to this quadrant. Let's put your 401k there. It is not very liquid and depending on how much money you have in the stock market, which by the way, folks, we're recording this on December 10th, 2019. The market's at all-time highs as of the date of this recording. Why in the world don't you take some of those winnings off the table? I saw the same thing happen in 08. Everybody's excited. They're rushing to throw money blindly in the market. Can the market go down? I don't know, but it sure could. And my thoughts are, why not take some winnings off the table? But the problem is, a 401k is not really cash. Buried in that is fees. Buried in that is many times risk. You can't even get access to it in many cases. And of course, you have the darn tax tumor. So cash is always king. What we do at Tony Walker Financial is try to help you come up with a game plan and then include in that game plan based on your goals and your future needs, how much cash do we need to have available? So let me show you how our split IRA concept can give you the cash is king mentality. So what we've done over the years, when we roll a 401k plan over, lump sum pension, IRA, maybe have an inheritance, we like to split it up in these two different buckets. And through our Charles Schwab platform over here, we have complete liquidity. And we always make sure we have some cash in that bucket in case you need it or for your monthly distributions. And then on the other end, we might have one or more multiple annuities that provide the safety, protection, and of course, the mailbox money. And my final tip of the day is always remember Tony's mantra. Folks, there are 10,000 people turning 65 each and every day. 2020 is going to be the year where you're going to be bombarded with solicitations to hand your money over to institutions, whether it's through dinner seminars, the internet, TV shows, radio shows. Folks, we're in marketing too. We're hoping to get the ability to work with you and your money. There are lots of people that are going to be after your money. The question is, 
who really is responsible enough, who's a fiduciary, who has the know-how to plan for your retirement. We feel we're the ones to be able to do that. Now, in addition to that, here's my mantra. Before you rush out and buy anything, three key rules. First of all, before you purchase or invest in a strategy, how much use do you have over that particular investment? The second thing you've got to ask yourself is, if I invest in that, how much flexibility do I have? And then finally, we have control. Now, here's the little dirty secret that nobody wants to talk about. There is no perfect product that fits all three. It ain't out there, folks. This is why you need a game plan. It's the game plan that gives you use. The game plan gives you the flexibility. The game plan gives you the control. The products are just part of the game plan. So again, let me close with this. If you do not have a written game plan and you're trying to get out here in 2020 and plan for your future, good luck. Let's take a minute, let's sit down. You can either meet with me in person or by phone just to find out how we can help you. Best of all, there's no cost or obligation to lay it out for you, let you see how Tony Walker Financial works and look at our proprietary software so you too can have a written game plan. We've covered a lot of information. I hope this has been helpful to you. Now, our last segment, starting out in 2020, we're going to close with what the Bible has to say about goals, resolutions, and no matter what happens in the coming year, we can't control that, right? No matter what happens, I'm going to share with you the best news of all. But first, I got to get me a cup of coffee. I'll be right back. Win or lose, games are a blast, but playing around with your retirement is serious business. So don't leave your retirement to chance. Get a retirement game plan from well-known retirement specialist, Tony Walker. Learn how to be worry-free in retirement with a safe and simple game plan that includes mailbox money for life. To meet in person with Tony, log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. That's TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Have you recently retired, been laid off, or offered a pension buyout? Has the company you work for moved, been acquired, or closed its doors forever? And finally, do you have a 401k with a previous employer you'd like to move to safer territory? Then take advantage of this opportunity to move your 401k or lump sum pension to Tony Walker Financial. Let's meet in person to discuss your retirement options. Log on now to TonyWalkerFinancial.com to schedule your free, no obligation appointment. Let us help you today. Welcome back to the Worry-Free Retirement with the money missionary himself, Tony Walker. You know, the first book I ever wrote was called Perfecting Your Walk in Retirement. It was funny, I did a webinar years ago. I mean, this was 15 plus years ago about this book. And at the very end of the webinar, we took questions and an older gentleman called in or actually texted his question and said, I don't get it. I walk all the time and I feel great. What does this have to do about retirement? So since nobody knew what the heck I was talking about, I had to change the name of that book to The Worry-Free Retirement. And it was a blessing, actually, because from that stemmed this show, The Worry-Free Retirement Show. And of course, back then, I created this process called The Worry-Free Retirement. Now, the concept, though, of perfecting your walk is quite biblical. Last week, I introduced this concept of sanctification, which in layman's terms is simply the idea that as time goes by, there's a process we go through where hopefully we get closer and closer to God's perfection. That with each passing day, or in our case, we've been talking about the passing year, we become more perfect. Knowing, however, that none of us are perfect, this is a hard pill to swallow and one that can quickly be discouraging as we all stumble and bumble through this life. Yet, assuming you're a follower of Jesus Christ, we learned last week that He has given us His perfect spirit, in order to walk us through this process of sanctification, which is the day-to-day -day walk of growing closer to Him. The challenge, we are not to walk by the flesh, but by the Spirit. So in a world full of sin and distractions, how in the world do we do this? How can we stay focused on a perfect God and look forward to that day when we will truly be perfect? Well, the Apostle Paul talks about this in Colossians 3.1. He says the following, If then you have been raised up with Christ... Keep seeking the things above where Christ is seated 
at the right hand of God. He says that in order to focus on God, we must, then in the next verse, set our minds on the things above, not on the things that are on earth. So what are those things in heaven? Well, you have to go back to chapter 2, verse 2, and in that last part of that verse, Paul talks about the wealth that comes from the full assurance, the understanding resulting in the true knowledge of God's mystery that is in Christ Himself. You know, this show is dedicated to helping you kick off the new year with confidence. And if there's anything I can encourage you to do in order to create a daily walk with the Lord is to read the Bible, His Word. But you say, well, Tony, I don't even know where to begin. Let me share an idea then that might help you. I tried this years ago and it really helps. Just take 30 days. Doesn't matter if you've never even cracked a Bible open. Here's what you do. It'll only take you about 15 minutes each day to do this. It's very easy. Get the Bible out, flip over to the book of Ephesians. It's a great book to read. Now on day one, you're going to read as much of Ephesians as you can for about 15 minutes. Read it slowly. This is not an Evelyn Wood speed reading course. And then just set the Bible down and go do something else. Doesn't matter if it's only five to 15 minutes. The next day, pick it up again. Pick up where you left off in Ephesians and start reading for another 10 to 15 minutes. Put it back down. Go about your day. Day three, repeat the process. Day four. Now what's going to happen is when you get past probably 15, 16 days, you'll finish the book of Ephesians. And then you say, now what? And I'll say, you start over again. You start back with Ephesians 1 and do the same process until this 30-day period is ending. Keep repeating that. Assume that you're going to start this day each day. It doesn't matter. The best time of day where you can get some quiet time. No expectations. Just read it and then prayerfully ask God each day to help you understand what you just read. You do that, my friend, and I can assure you that you'll start setting your minds on the things above and not so focused on the things below. Well, speaking of setting your minds on the things above and not below, you got to understand something. I'm in the money business. I'm a retirement planning specialist, and we do have to be practical. We have to think about money and the things that we can do to improve our lives with it. Now, the best thing you can do right now, it's 2020. You're watching this show. should be the first week of 2020. And you say, what can I do now to take steps to improve my financial situation? Log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Click on the Let's Get Started button. Let you and I have a conversation. We can either talk by phone, or I'm happy to meet with you in either our Bowling Green, Louisville, or Lexington, Kentucky offices. And best of all, there is absolutely no cost or obligation to do so. So do it now. Log on, TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Click on that Let's Get Started. I assure you, it'll be one of the best steps you can make for 2020. Well, I trust 2020 will be a good year for you, but regardless, between now and next week, if all else tends to fail, you remember to be worry-free. Make it a good one.